Hi guys, Ross here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this light streak, which I'm going to show you now, um, in my latest animation, Together Is Better, which was a collaboration animation with Devon Devan. So as you can see now, the light is going to shine through, there you go. And I'm going to be showing you how I created that effect. So I'm just going to hop into After Effects and here I have a piece of animated text and if you don't know how to animate your hand lettering, I already have a tutorial, it's on my channel, I'll put a link in the description. So I've got my animated lettering here, and the first thing you're going to want to do is select all the layers. So if we come down to the layers palette, and press Command A, or Control A if you're on a PC, and you're going to right click, and you're going to pre-compose. Now, what this is going to do is basically group all the layers together, and put them into a new composition, so we just call this animation. And hit OK. So now we have all those animated layers in one group. So we can just slide through. It's all in one layer called animation. And if we then double click this, we can go back into the layers if we needed to edit anything for any reason. So I'm just going to come back out of that and we have our pre composed layer. OK, so the first thing we're going to want to do is probably change the color of this text because obviously you can't see a light streak on top of a white piece of lettering. So we're going to select our layer and we're going to cut to effects and presets and type in fill and double click on fill and that's going to apply that effect to our lettering. So I'm just going to change this to a white but just slightly darker, so maybe like a dark grey like this and we're going to hit OK and now we're going to apply our light streak. So if we just come up to effects and presets again and type in CC light and sweep. There we go, there it is. So if we just double click that, that's going to apply it to our text. And as you can see, we already have a light streak. So there's a few settings we're going to want to change. You want to change edge thickness down to zero because if you see, that kind of gives it a bevel and emboss effect. So if we just take it down to zero, we have a flat appearance. And then we're going to change the edge intensity. We're going to bump that up a bit maybe to about 100 actually um, and then the sweep intensity up so maybe about about 40 there we go that's perfect and then you can change the width that's completely up to you I'm probably gonna leave that at 50 actually and you can play with the settings so if we come into shape you can change this from sharp to smooth and smooth to linear and you can see they kind of just give you different effects I'm going to leave mine at sharp for now, but again, that's all up to you with your personal preferences. So now we want to animate this. So if we just come back to where the text finishes animating, so for me that is about there, and we are going to animate the position of this light streak. So if we just come up to where it says center and it has two numbers, so one is the horizontal position and one is the vertical position. So we're actually gonna change the horizontal position so it's completely to the right, out the way of the text, and we're gonna hit the little stopwatch to the left of the word center, which is our keyframe. Now, if we come down to the layers palette, make sure we have our layer selected and hit U, that's then gonna show us all the keyframes on that selected layer. So we've made our first one, and now we're gonna move along to about uh, 12 seconds as you can see in the top left of our layers palette here we have the seconds so our first keyframe was at 11 seconds and we're going to make the next one at 12 seconds so that's a one second animation it's going to take for this light to sweep through so we're on 12 seconds and we're now going to bring the position back in and we're just going to drag it all the way across just by dragging the number until the light has then disappeared off the text. So there we go, just about there. And now if we just scrub through the timeline, we can see the light sweep going across our text. Now the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is select both of the keyframes by just clicking and dragging over them, and then hit function F9 if you're on a Mac, and I think if you're on a PC, it's just F9, or it'd be control F9, something like that. So now if we just quickly play back this little bit, I'm just gonna trim the work area down just so it renders this little bit. And we hit play by going to preview and then hitting play. We can see the light sweep just come through, just like that, perfect. 
Now, if that's a bit too fast for you, you can simply just move the second keyframe along a bit, so have it for about 12 and a half seconds. So I'm working in a 30 second composition, so that is going to be 12 seconds and 15 frames, I think, something like that. So we're just going to move that along to between 12 and 13 seconds, and if we just play that back again, there we go, we have a bit more of a slower light sweep. So of course, you can play with the settings on this. If you wanted the light sweep to be a different colour, you can just come up to your light colour and we can just change this to maybe like a, a red, like purple should we say, like that. So again, if we watch this back, we can have like a red light going through it. And you know, you can really play with the settings, it's all personal preference. Again, um, with all the settings that we've changed so far today, you can just keep them how you like. Um, you can change the edge, edge thickness if you kind of want that bevel and emboss effect. Um, that would look kind of cool on certain uh, lettering pieces and stuff like that. So yeah, that is how you create a light sweep in Adobe After Effects. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you found today's tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button and comment in the comment section down below more videos and tutorials you want to see. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more future content. So thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video.